Now, let's take a look at a risk event for the week uh, starting Monday, the 14th of August. Uh, it's UK inflation out uh, on Wednesday, the 16th. Uh, there's the whole picture of UK inflation. Uh, consumer prices, uh, retail prices and producer prices. This means that in one go, we should get a feel for what the Bank of England's next move could be. The steep rise in inflation last year uh, now starting to abate. There may be a reasonable expectation that the risk may be on the downside. The big question then is, can sterling break out of its recent tr uh, trading channel uh, against the euro? I want to take a look against the euro because um, I think this is an important uh, uh, trade to watch because of the moves we've seen uh, this week in the US dollar on its inflation. Now, this is the euro first against sterling. So any move up here would be weakness for sterling. So I'm looking potentially uh, to buy this market. Now, this is a long term chart here. And you'll see here I've drawn these little circles around this interesting line at 87.01, uh, where we've seen it act as uh, resistance and support. It is currently resistance. Let's focus in on this most recent move. Now, uh, assuming that the European Central Bank will continue to raise interest rates, and if we do get a pullback in inflation here in the UK, my risk is that we could well end up seeing potentially possible downside uh, to these inflation numbers uh, out uh, Wednesday next week. If you are long on this, your stop goes under the underside of this rising line of support. So you'll stop at around about the 85.75 level. Uh, we're currently trading 86.48. My price target is 87.01. And you get a B to that. You're then on the way up to the next line of resistance, which is up here, which broadly speaking coincides with 200 day moving average at 87.24. So long euro sterling going into the numbers for UK inflation out on Wednesday, the 16th of August.